Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics, and today we're going to be working on the 2005, or actually 2004, Chevrolet Cavalier. So this complaint is that uh, the AC fans aren't working, they're not turning on, and uh, his car is overheating. So before just switching out the fans, we're just going to see exactly what's going on here, and uh, test out the, the different little things and see what we can get. Alright. You know, we don't want to change out these fans right off the bat without doing the proper diagnostic. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our, uh, we got our multimeter, a little cheap one, I know. And we have our power probe right here. So, let's just start off to check the integrity of the wire. Alright, so this is the fuse, or the relay, I'm sorry, the relay for the cooling fan. And we know this because we, uh, we have it right here, we got it. The AC, fuel pump, crank, and cooling. So one, two, three, four. All right. Checking my uh, wiring diagram, I know that this is power, as you can see. Twelve. Twelve. This is the control one. This is what's coming from the PCM, and then this one's gonna be for the fan. So, just right off the bat, we can see if we give this twelve volts, and you gotta be careful. You gotta know which one, which one's your wire we can see that the fans are working so right off the bat we know that this is not going to be a fan issue so now we gotta find out if it's something with the PCM or the relay so this is the relay that we popped out for this one so if we still remember remember we got 12 volts here and this is the one that's going to be sending out to the to the actual fan and then this is the ground because that's what's going to uh, complete the circuit so this power probe has okay this power probe what it does this is the ground cable so we can hook up ground right here and what we want to hear is an audible clicking on and off so here it goes okay so it is clicking but after doing a little bit more extensive work right here I try to hook up my uh, my voltmeter to see if there's any voltage and we're not getting any voltage out of here so after this we hook up my relay back in here <laughs> and now this you know this probably is not going to apply to everyone because not everyone has an expensive scan tool sorry for the glare but this is a fan control so what we can do right here we can actually I don't know if you can see it relay command we're gonna try to turn on the relay and see if it starts okay you see it's on the on position we heard I'm gonna turn it off and on so we heard that that the relay is turning on but the fans are still off so what we're gonna do turn it off and switch the relay from here to here and see what happens so here it goes on off so there you go we got a bad relay by doing our bi-directional test so, just a little bit of diagnostics, you know, you can figure this out. Uh, sometimes you just need these fancy scan tools right here. It's almost a $3,000, $4,000 scan tool. But with this, I figured out the issue. Rather than changing out the whole fan assembly, we just got to change out this relay and we're good to go. Customers are going to be happy that they don't got to spend that much money at all. So, if you do like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make some more after this. But uh, thank y'all for watching and thank you for all the good reviews. I do appreciate that. It does uh, make it a lot better when you send all those good reviews. It makes, it, it makes me want to make more videos. But y'all take care. Goodbye.